For now at least, Günther Beckstein can expect the royal treatment in many places in Bavaria, as seen at this county fair in a small town near his own constituency of Nuremberg. But there may be trouble ahead for the state premier, who is aiming for more than 50% of the vote in the upcoming election. A modest goal by normal CSU standards, but it may be difficult this time round. We know we're going to have to dig deep. We have to rally our people a bit more, but I think we're on the right track. The CSU is way ahead in the polls. But local elections earlier this year saw an exodus towards the Free Voter Organization. Beckstein countered by claiming that the organization doesn't really have a proper agenda. They're fine at deciding if and where to build car parks or roundabouts. But I wouldn't trust them when it comes to regional or national issues. The CSU has always thrived on its traditional Bavarian credentials and associations and has governed basically without challenge for decades on end. But there are now signs that increasing numbers of voters are ditching the party, either out of protest or the search for a viable alternative. The free voters shouldn't be underestimated. They're very clever. They claim to be independent and not even a party, but a lot of their positions are the same as the CSU's, and sometimes they simply attract the protest vote. The free voters made a splash in local elections. You can definitely call them a catch-all for disillusioned voters. Jürgen Horst Dörfler is a case in point. For 23 years, he held various positions within the CSU, but last summer he gave back his membership card. He now campaigns for the Free Voters Organization. The reason for me was that the CSU is no longer a party for entrepreneurs. The party doesn't take our problem seriously. The CSU takes our vote for granted, but it shouldn't. Gabriela Pauli is the organization's ace in the hole. The outspoken politician is challenging Günther Beckstein in Nuremberg with Dörfler's support. Pauli also switched from the CSU to the Free Voters after a highly publicized feud with Beckstein's predecessor Edmund Stoiber. She's determined to inject some new momentum into Bavarian politics and win over some former party friends in the process. It's a grassroots movement with a lot of local people involved. It's also nice not having to work with those rigid party structures. It's all very open and really flexible. The Free Voters' conservative values echo the CSU platform, but candidates like Gabriela Pauli are focusing on one particular difference. They claim to have a new approach to politics that breaks with the old CSU setup. Mrs. Pauli has said what's on people's minds, and it'd be nice if there were a change for once in Bavaria, instead of just a continuation of the CSU's democracy of patricians. I used to vote CSU, but definitely not anymore. I think the CSU will lose a lot of voters at this election. And the free voters will probably score big this time. The area surrounding Munich Airport, for example, could yield quite a few new voters. Here, the Free Voters Organization is heavily campaigning against unpopular plans for a new runway at the airport. Issues like this can decide local elections. Other parties are also eager to benefit. In the Freising constituency bordering the airport, they've banded together to try to put an end to the CSU's monopoly on power. The Social Democrats and Greens are even contemplating a new political landscape for Bavaria. There won't be such a monopoly, and there'll be a lot more debate and more compromises. And this can only be good for Bavaria. Beckstein obviously sees things differently. For him, the federal government and regional coalitions show exactly what's wrong with that type of government. I'm nervous about any notion of a coalition. 
Not because I generally consider it impossible, but because it's a disadvantage for our country. Coalitions mean endless negotiations and conflict. The upcoming state elections will probably leave the CSU shaken but not stirred. Nonetheless, there are increasing signs that Bavaria is no longer synonymous with the CSU.